Well, this is something new, isn't it? I traded a 1979 Aaron Snowblower plus a little cash for this, which is a 1976 based on the red shifter knobs and red decals. So it's a 1976 Sears SS16. It has a perfect dash minus one small crack that you probably can't even hard to see on camera right there. And I did put washers on here because the choke um, did fall through right around the choke. So I just put uh, some washers in front and back sides and JB weld just to reinforce it. Came with a 42 inch mower deck. I've never seen such clean wheels. And yes, this tractor is all original. Those have the plastic gas tank under the seat. As a working ammeter. It does although have a well, you guys aren't going to be able to read it very well, but it's, it has a John Deere key, so that's got to go. And another thing is it has a mint nose cone. No cracks anywhere in it. Both the headlights and taillights do work. And when I got this tractor, it was non-running. It was a 14 or 15 year old kid that owned it. He didn't know that there was points and condenser on this engine. He thought it was just the coil. So he went and pulled one of the plugs out and see if it had spark and had no spark. And so he, he looked up what it would cost for a new coil. And he said, nope, I'm going to get rid of it. And he really wanted that uh, Aaron Snowblower that I had. So I ended up getting this. I end up only having $110 invested in this thing. I say that because I gave $100 plus a snowblower for this tractor and I had $10 invested in the snowblower. Now, when I sanded the points, I had spark. Then I noticed that the fuel pump um, had some issues. Where the fuel goes in, as you can see there, has been broken off. My camera will not focus because it's such a small piece. But it was broken off, so I said, screw the factory fuel pump. What I have is a Chinese fuel pump right there. I do have some wire just to keep it away from the throttle. I made a steel plate. And I used one of the uh, gaskets from the fuel pump, the, the most rubbery gasket. Put that between the plate and the carburetor, screwed it on. I put a metal fuel inlet on there. And it does not leak. And, and it runs great. The fuel line for coming from the tank goes directly to the fuel pump. I have more pictures that I took before I uh, put all the air cleaner back on. The only part that's missing is this cover, and that's already been ordered. So that's on its way. I also got with this tractor two concrete weights, and they are like new, and a Sears tote box. Plus the mower deck uh, shield. But I'm thinking is this, uh, according to this kid, that, that tote box has been with the tractor since it was new. I don't know how many owners it's had. I suspect I'm probably the third owner. I think the kid might have gotten it from his grandfather or something. I really don't know. He said he got it as a project. But I think that tote box is what saved the front end of this. Because the fr front tote box has a couple things and dents in it. But other than that, I cleaned the tractor up. It was not, definitely not this clean. But not to not to brag or anything, but I would say that this is probably one of the cleanest 76 Sears SS16s you will probably ever find. The mower deck I have not waxed it yet. 
because it will be coming off because I have a tractor show next weekend. And this will be going to the show. Along with the 14. So, without further ado, let's put this thing away. Dead idle. Here's Well, there you guys go. There's the newest toy.